Hey crafty loving friends, it's Shelly from Repurpose My Way. Today we're going to be doing a wedding gift picture frame that I came up with. I bought this from Walmart. I could have made this I suppose, but it, there's a lot of cuts and take a lot of time and I want to spend more time on decorating the front of it than I do cutting everything out. So I went to Walmart, found this, it was around $6. I would say it's a it's a 12 by 15 inch. Just look at the back on the tag. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have the price, but I'm pretty sure it was six dollars and chain. I'll put the amount somewhere here on the screen once I find my receipt, and I'll let you know what that was. So I got that. I went into the uh, wedding section, and I found this really pretty silicone mold. It's a nice deep there, like rose flowerettes. Very pretty. This would be more for like chocolates, things like that. You melt your chocolate down and you put them in there and you make little chocolates. But I can put my clay in there and make these little rosettes to make the designs um, that I want for my picture frame. So here's, I've been make, working on them because they take so long. Um, so here's one from this, it's one of the bigger ones here. So there's that. And then I made um, some smaller ones, same, you know, off the same mold. And then I got my other two molds out. And this one I wanted to use the leaves on. So there's these leaf, three different size leaves on there. That one I've had, I got that one, I think from Michaels, that's a Wilton mold. And I believe I got it from Michaels. If not, I got it off um, Amazon because I know I did get some off Amazon too. But anyway, here are the leaves. It's a couple different sizes. And then I also pulled out this one. This is a Wilton one. And I use these little loop-de-doos here, the little flower, the, I don't know, stems, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what it's called, but I'm at a loss for what it's called. But anyway, so I used a few of those. Um, and so what I did to start out with was I made up all, or I started making up what I wanted and I started setting it down on the picture frame. And once I get it all set up, I took a picture of it. I have it on my laptop so that I can look at it and know where the placement is because I'm going to do it up in the two corners. So I'm going to do, or in the two, I'm going to do it in two corners. <laughs> so I'm going to do uh, a bunch of flowers and leaves here. And then down here, I'm going to do on the opposite corner. So that's what I'm going to do for that. And uh, I'm going to have to glue those on. But first, what I wanted to do was paint. Um, I mixed up a little bit of white paint with a little bit of just a few little drops of burgundy paint and I started in and then I added another one or two drops just a little time just a little bit at a time and started in because I wanted a nice pretty pink for my little rosettes I don't want anything too fancy smancy and I thought that way if I do light colors if I want to come in after it's dry and take a little bit of the burgundy and just kind of do a little bit of streaking to give it a little dimension, I can do that. Um, so I have that, I have my white Waverly paint, which is what I mixed with it. And then I also did white Waverly paint with some moss Waverly paint. And I did a light, light green. So I did the same thing, put a little white in there and then um, took a little bit on a spoon and just little drops in there and kept stirring it until I got just the right consistency and the right color that I wanted. So these are the two colors. So as you can see here, I'm following the pattern. I took the picture of when I kind of dry fit everything on my board and I put it up on my laptop to, to have a visual of how I wanted to set it up. And so as you can see on the screen, I have the picture up there for you to see as well 
and you can see how I'm mimicking what I have in the picture. I didn't mention earlier that I'm using a air dry clay. There's no need in baking or heating it up or or anything like that. This just dries with the just in the air. So um, this works really, really nicely. So there we go, we have it all fit together. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and glue it down so that it uh, will stay. But then I found out later on that really hot glue isn't holding it very well. And I ended up having to use some uh, uh, E6000 on it as well and to help it stay because a few of them would pop off. And I think it's because they weren't flat on the bottom. So as I was um, putting stuff on top and moving them around a little bit, they kind of rocked back and forth and they would lose the sticky on it. Now that they're all stuck down, I decided that I was going to take my Waverly white wax and a paper towel and I was gonna go over with a brush over all my leaves and my rosebuds and with the wax and try and get it right down in the cracks and crevices and that way when I pulled it off with the paper towel it would still be kind of down in there. So this is what I mean by when I say I want to mute the colors a little bit. I want them to still be there but I wanted to mute them plus I needed to seal these so this is the best way. I could have used clear, but again, I wanted to mute the colors just a, just a little, uh, and then I'll wipe it away. And there'll still be color there. It will just be a little more, using the word again, muted. Um, as you can see, there we go. So, And this is where I realized that some of the pieces were rocking you'll probably notice as I'm tapping, they're rocking, uh, it's rocking those, and so I just realized that I needed to re-glue. And so all I did was just take some E6000 and put it on the bottom, and that worked just fine. Um, I added hot glue as well, and that way they would stay, and then the E6000 would be able to, um, to stick better. So I forgot to mention that between um, putting these, gluing these down in the corners and wa white waxing these, it's been two days. So I've let them air dry for two days. I didn't just go from gluing them down to white waxing them uh, and then tapping them with a paper towel. Um, these sat for two days, not being touched so they would dry so that I could tap on them and not lose that um, nice, you know, the nice detail on the top. So I just showed how the difference is on the two between the white wax and the not waxed. Hopefully you can see the difference with them side by side now. It's very slight, but there is a difference. I got a clip from a four pack of clips I got from the Dollar Tree and I took one of them and glued it down with E6000 and hot glue in the kind of the, the middle top portion of my picture frame. And then I had this little bit of burlap with some lace on it so I decided to make a cute little bow with that and put it on top to kind of cover up that black clip and that's just where you would hang your picture. Uh, and here I'm showing you I bought a package of buttons from Walmart, just a couple bucks, and I got it because it had a little locket with our lock with a key, but it also had some cute little um, flowers. There was two little white ones and one kind of a dusty rose colored one that I thought were really pretty and look, would look nice on this. So I glued those on and then I decided I wanted to put the lock and the key on there as well. I thought that would look very cute. 
and kind of bring the whole thing together. I did buy another little package that had all just keys in it, but it didn't have the lock, and I thought I wanted the lock to go with it. I thought it, it was fitting for a wedding photo holder. So somehow I did not get any footage of me putting the established 2021 on here but as you see the pictures flash by you'll see at the bottom that I did paint on a little established 2021 and uh, you'll see it a few times here but hope you like the little photo frame and uh, might be something that you want to do it's fairly easy have fun with it make it your own please like share and subscribe Take care, guys. Have a good day.